What's up, everybody? How y'all doing this morning? Rooster Man used to do this edition of Riding with the Rooster. I haven't done one in a while. Uh, been trying to save most of my videos, gather up information, and do videos in the afternoons and post it for all you guys. But I kind of had some things uh, I heard. Uh, but just let everybody know, Mama Tori is home. She is fine. Uh, she's resting. Uh, she'll go back to work today. Very frustrating. All the three nights in the hospital and still really don't know why her, her the conditions that she had she has and uh, they're not telling us much we'll find out more uh, I guess when test re results come back and go to her regular doctor but it was kind of frustrating but before we get into what I want to talk about this morning like I said please like subscribe to the channel appreciate everyone that uh, supports the channel you guys are my family out here I've made some great relationships through YouTube. Uh, just people we've met that we've become personal friends with. Myself, Mama Tor, both appreciate everyone uh, that's joined the channel. You know, it really has become, you guys have become family to us. Um, like I said, there's some people that, that are around a lot that uh, have become family with us. Uh, and don't, they're not just Gamecock fans, people. These are people from all over. Uh, YouTube and different fans from different football teams. That just goes to show you that we may argue over our football teams, but we're still family at the end of the day. Um, but I wanted to get in to talk a little bit about the scrimmage and kind of some of the things we've heard. Um, kind of heard maybe there's been some is inconsistencies uh, at field goal kicking, which is something kind of new for us South Carolina fans. We typically for the last, oh God, going back to uh, Elliot Fry, Y'all remember Fish Fry, right? That long snapper uh, fish and Elliot Fry, and we called them Fish Fry. Uh, to Parker White, um, to Derek Jeter, who transferred to Notre Dame. But maybe there's a little bit of struggle there. I don't know if we're being told the truth on maybe how much of a struggle that is now. Beamer did say that both Mason Love and, uh, of course, Kai Kroger is back to uh, booming it. Mason Love's doing really good. That's our freshman kicker uh, as far as our punting. Seems really good. I think kickoff is good. We have seen Nick Harbor uh, feeling some kickoffs. wonder how long that's going to sustain. Um, are we going to see that during the season? Maybe, depending on how good Nick's doing. Maybe Nick likes doing kickoffs. I don't know. I haven't heard an interview of anyone talk about him doing kickoffs yet. But, uh, man, he'd be a beast on the kickoff, wouldn't he? Uh, don't kick the ball short of that dude and miss him. I'm going to tell you that. He's going to be gone on you fast. But anyway, um, those are a couple things I kind of noticed and heard. Michael Smith, the tight end, looked really good uh, catching the ball. I think he's impressed some people. I think uh, there's been some offensive linemen like uh, Parks uh, transferred in. Has really impressed. Hasn't been talked about a lot, but seems like he's really impressing the coaches. Um, good to see that we have some depth through that offensive line. Um, it's a little bit different for me this year going into South Carolina. It's a cautious optimism, right? That's what we say because you you, you got to read between the lines of what is coach speak to keep the team hyped up and what is realistic expectations for this team. Um, we know we have a lot of questions. We know there's a lot of questions that have to be answered. Uh, but we hear really good things about different players. Uh, Dre Jacobs, Vandre, Vandravius Jacobs from Florida State, was not at the scrimmage game Saturday. Uh, of course, Beamer says it's just some bumps and bruises. No one has really anything as far as injuries that's going to keep them out. Uh, interested in what we're going to do for Old Dominion. I don't look for some spectacular offense to roll out against Old Dominion. I think it'll probably be a, a slow start unless, <coughs> you know, Lenore, so those guys do some uh, explosive plays. I don't look for South Carolina to show a lot. I think they're going to hold a lot back on offense. Actually, my buddy Gamecock Chuck and I were texting about this yesterday. Uh, if you're not subscribed to Gamecock Chuck, please go over and subscribe to Gamecock Chuck. Uh, he's just like me, a good old boy that just loves our, our Gamecocks and college football. But uh, we were texting about this yesterday, and uh, 
just don't think we're going to see a lot out of out of our offense. And, and we're going to put together a big show. I've invited some other fellow Gamecock YouTubers. Uh, try to do a big show before the season starts. Get everyone's opinion. Uh, be myself and uh, Jackpot. If timing works out, I'll have Carolina Jackpot, Gamecock Chuck on with me. And we're just going to talk about our expectations, what we've heard, what we've seen out of camps. Should be a really good show. Um, may try to get one or two other people to stop in that are a little more connected with the program that can tell us what they've seen and they've heard. You know, some guys that's maybe been around practices and seen what's going on uh, and the improvements that the team has made, how some of the players have come along uh, since spring. But we'll talk about all that stuff. But like I said, I, I don't. my expectations to see it, the old Dominion game, now people are curious. I heard them talking about South Carolina only being a 20-point favorite in that game. And they wanted, thought that was kind of maybe low. But Old Dominion was a, a bowl team last year. They had six wins their regular season. So, I mean, it's not like like the other two, Akron and Walford, those were both two-win teams. Old Dominion's not quite that. And we've seen Old Dominion go up and beat Virginia Tech. And just have to kind of be careful with a team like that. They're starting out slow. But it'll be interesting to see what the game plan is offensively. I think defensively we'll probably dominate those guys. Um, and then I had a, a great fan. Sorry, I can't remember your name right now. That came on and kind of explained. Uh, I'm taking he's a younger guy because he knew this hockey, the hockey uh, slide or whatever they call it, uh, hockey shift what they do on defense, which rotates a lot of guys through, and how they were, he kind of explained it to me how it really works. I, they didn't do that back in my day, right? Because I was in a school where we played both ways. There wasn't enough people on the team that you were sliding or shifting anyone on and off the field. We played from uh, kickoff to end of the game. That's, that's just the way it was and where I was at anyway, because I was at a small high school. But uh, yeah, so he kind of explained some of that to me. We'll get into more of that. Um, maybe the coaches sooner or later explain it, but uh, I appreciate I appreciate the guy that came on and kind of explained that to me, and it made sense when he said it. Have the guys a lot fresher, uh, not as much wear and tear on them by the end of the games. How much we'll see that against uh, Old Dominion? I'm sure they'll practice it some. We don't want to give away too much before you play Kentucky, right? So my expectations for the ODU game is not going to be South Carolina's going to show a lot of defensive blitz packages they're not going to show a lot of this offense i wouldn't i wouldn't think you just don't want to give your stuff away a lot of people were a little concerned that rocket sanders uh didn't run the scrimmage rocket's an older player he's been around he's been in the sec rocket doesn't need extra practices um he knows what to do he knows what he's doing um and we heard that about even tennessee sampson didn't wasn't out for Tennessee running the ball during the scrimmage. I've heard it out of a lot of other teams because we've seen that there's been a few running backs right now that's been uh, hurt. C.J. Baxter from Texas was one of the big name guys that's out there. The running back for Florida's gotten injured. Um, there's been one more. Uh, I can't think of it right now, right now off the top of my head, but there's been three or four running backs that's got pretty uh, dinged up and some of them are out for the season and I know a lot of teams do not want that so um, it, did, it didn't surprise me that Rocket wasn't out there it, it really didn't but anyway I'm going to get on to work appreciate everybody for hanging out like I said always appreciate everyone that subscribes and uh, hopefully all you guys enjoy the channel and we will be back later with another video peace